A new study by the company Aerodynamic Advisory says Washington has the most competitive business environment for the manufacture and assembly of aircraft. Using identifiable and clearly laid out metrics, everything from the cost of labor on a productivity basis to infrastructure, energy costs. The 2022 Airspace Competitive Economic Study, or ACES, said that the state scored highest in labor and education, aerospace industry, and research and innovation. We really want to make sure that it's really clear that we, our workforce is second to none. The state has more than 78,000 aerospace workers. The International Association of Machinists and the Society of Professional Engineering Employees in Aerospace say Western Washington workers have the skills, labor, and legacy that are the best in the country. We have more people training to be aerospace workers than other states actually have aerospace workers. And, and that's a critical piece going forward is who's going to fill these jobs in the next generations. Decisions you make now have really, really long-term consequences. Boeing has said it won't introduce a new plane until at least the mid-2030s, which is a concern for the workforce. I think it's catastrophic for the workforce, and what's even worse is that when CEO Dave Calhoun made that comment, it didn't appear to take into account the risk of workforce atrophy. With a loss in market shares and an aging workforce, this is one in a line of conversations to keep Washington number one. The panel made it clear that the next few years will be telling for Washington's future. In the ACES study, Washington scored the lowest in labor costs and infrastructure. Here in Everett, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.